So Brittany and Dina, or Dinah, let's call it Dina, each have a bank account. Brittany starts with a certain amount of money and adds money at regular intervals. Dina starts with a different amount of money and takes money out over time. The amount of money, Y dollars, in Dina's coin bank after X weeks is with this equation right here. The graph shows Brittany's. So let's, it's asking us all about Brittany's first. So the y-intercept of Brittany's, where it crosses the y-axis, is 20, which means that it is $20 that she starts with. That's how much that she has to start with in her bank account. And then the slope. Well, it is going up by 20 for every week, so the slope is $20 per week is added. So her equation is y equals 20x plus 20. All right, and we need to remember that it's Dina here that it's talking about. And Dina, remember hers is y equals negative 30x plus 120. So this is Dina, and then remember Taylor is, oh, let's take this back. I don't know why it has different names. This gets it really confusing. So, sorry, adding money is Brittany. Taking money out is Dina. So this is Dina. And now we need to look at Brittany. And remember, Brittany's is y equals 20x plus 20. So who is taking money out or adding at a fast rate? Well, Dina is taking out $30 a week, which is more money than Brittany is adding per week. So after how many weeks will they have the same amount? Well, we gotta think about what algebraic term means the same. Equals, equals means the same. So we're going to take Dina's negative 30x plus 120 and make it equal to Brittany's, which is 20x plus 20. And now we need to solve for x. So I'm gonna start by adding 30x to both sides. So 120 equals 50x plus 20. We subtract 20 from each side. 100 equals 50x. Divide by 50. And 2 equals x. So two weeks, they will have the same amount of money in their account. So this one is not a story problem. We're just simply looking at a graph and we're looking at a, uh, an equation. So first, <clears throat> greater rate of change. Remember, that's the slope. So all we're looking at is slope. So for the table, the table, as x increases by 2 and 1 and 2, y increases by 8 and 4 and 8. So I have 8 over 2, 4 over 1, and 8 over 2. This is a linear equation because all of those reduce down to 4 over 1. The next one, um, the equation, we need to solve for y to find the m. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So 2y equals 4x plus 2. I'm going to divide everything by 2. So y equals 2x plus 1. So this one, the slope is 2. So the greater rate of change is the table with 4. And the functions below represent stock prices each week, where W is the number of weeks and C is the cost. Order the stock prices from least to greatest based on their rate of change. So we're going to start with alpha. Alpha says that our C is the cost, so our overall cost. And per week, it decreases by 2.50, and they start with 54. Beta, we need to solve for C. So we're going to subtract 9W from each side. So negative 2C equals negative 9W plus 54. Divide everything by negative 2. And C equals 
4.5 W minus, and 54 divided by 2 is 27. And then we're going to look at delta. Delta, every two weeks, it is decreasing by 7. which becomes negative 3.5, which equals C. So we're just looking at greatest, from least to greatest, based on their rate of change. Well, obviously, beta is a positive stock because I have negative 9 divided by negative 2, which becomes positive 4.5. So that is my greatest. So beta is my greatest. And then my least, I have negative 2.5 and negative 3.5. So alpha is my next greatest, and my least is delta. Are you